We have our first grand finalists for 2021. It's the South Sydney Rabbitohs. They've beaten Manly 36-16. John, you've been part of South Sydney for the better part of two decades. How hard has it been being away from the team as they prepare in one of the biggest weeks in the club's history? Pretty devastating, to be honest. Uh, yeah, like you said, for the last at least 18 years, I've been around the team, around there in the last game anyway. So it's um, a funny feeling at the moment not being up there. You were a reasonably calm player and captain on field. What are you like as a spectator at home? Yeah, no, I'm pretty calm. Yeah, there's not much to hype up by yourself at home. And then, you know, I've got the young fella, you know, jumping all over me while I'm trying to watch the game. So I'd rather be out there running the blue shirt. But, um, you know, obviously we're in the grand final and that's what we're here for. When you look forward to Sunday, how do you think you'll be watching the grand final? Yeah, I've thought about that a little bit this week, but um, I'm not sure. Yeah, probably sitting on the edge of my seat, um, be probably controlled for the first half of the game, but I'll probably be standing up for the rest. And who do you think will be hurting more by not being there, yourself or Russell Crowe? <laughs> That's an easy one, myself. <laughs> now, obviously, Russ will be hurting too, but yeah, it's tough times, you know, not being able to go there. Everyone's hurting, but, you know, they've got a job to do and I'm um, looking forward to seeing him execute that. So South Sydney victorious after 43 years. Can you believe it's already been seven years since you lifted the Proven Summons trophy high above your head? Um, no, not really. I think, uh, I think about that all the time. It's always in my memory. It was probably one of the best feelings ever, to be honest. Being here through the highs and lows of the club. You know, I dreamt about lifting up that trophy all year. You know, my family have always been there and you know, I've always wanted to, you know, win a comp for them and for myself. You know, to get to do it was um, amazing. We all know about the heroics of Sam Burgess on Grand Final Day, but what was the driving force behind your Premiership year back in 2014? Um, I think because we come so close to two years before, everyone was hurting after those years, and um, you know we just had to make a statement that you know we're the real deal. I just felt like it was time for us, you know, to go to the next step, and you know that final series is great because we just kept on building momentum into the Grand Final. GI's going to score. He's going to put another nail. So you look back at the team of 2014, the likes of Inglis, Burgess, Reynolds, Keary, Sutton. This year we've got Walker, Cook, Murray, Latrell, Reynolds is still there. Which team's better? <laughs> um, obviously 2014 side. <laughs> um, nah, to be honest, I think this side this year, it's the way they're playing, their defence has really stepped up and the amount of points they're scoring each week, they've just taken this game to a whole new level, I think. Was there a light bulb moment this year where you thought to yourself, these, these boys, they're in with a real chance here, they can win this? I've always thought that since the start of the year, obviously been around them. I just think it hurts too much. It just hurts too much bowing out in that game. And at some point you've got to just stand up and just got to make it your own. And I think, you know, they've done this, that this year. They've really, you know, had to lift because of the last three prelims. So, you know, we're just primed for this game, ready to do it. The motto for all South Sydney fans has been, in Wayne we trust. You've played under him, you've been part of his coaching staff. Why is he the master? To be honest, I think he's the master because of just the way he can get players up for the game. And away from the game, he's great on a personal level. He really gets down and to know his players and have the little chats to the players, you know, one-on-one, -on -one, but he can also, in the team meetings, really get the group together and um, make you really want to play for him and play for the club. Knowing Wayne so well, what do you think his game day address will be just moments before the team runs out on Sunday? I don't think it'll be too much. I just think, you know, he'll be saying, you know, we've done the work all year. This is it, 80 minutes away from glory. So, yeah, I'd love to be there for the speech. It'd be, um, probably give you goosebumps. How much would this current squad want to do it for Wayne Bennett, Adam Reynolds, Dane Gagai and Benji Marshall? They need to do it for these boys. Um, you know, they've been big parts of our club. And um, you know Wayne's helped us um, transform into an awesome team. So I think there's only one way to do it, and they got to win. Can that prove the difference, though? That farewell factor, that fairy tale factor. Yeah, I think so. I think you know, obviously Adam being the captain of the club, it's going to be his last game. So um, yeah, there's a lot of driving factors behind it, and you know we just need to win now. And there's a little kick by John Sutton, weighted perfectly. They scored another try. It's Adam Reynolds. Like a thief of the night had scored! If you had one minute with Adam just before they ran out, you were there in the blue shirt, what would you say to him? I would just say, mate, enjoy this. It's 
going to be the best 80 minutes of your life. You know, just make sure you lead the boys around and rip in. Have you visualised seeing Adam lift the trophy? Yeah, definitely. Um, obviously, I th always think about me when I lift it. So, yeah, I can't, I can't wait to see Adam, Adam lift it up on Sunday night.